Hi, my name is Julia Blake and I run and own Blake Consultants Limited and I help businesses grow. And in my last video, I gave some tips on surviving and actually enjoying networking. And the response has been phenomenal. Thank you so much. The video was viewed by over 2,000 people and the comments I've had have been so lovely mainly from people saying they had no idea that I was very very nervous about networking so I'm really pleased to report that the tips and the advice I give myself and I shared with you guys uh, in my last video work <laughs> so that's that's excellent news but if you pop if, if you missed it then do pop back and have a look um, it's still on my Facebook page so today I'm going to talk about what to do after you've been to a networking event. Clearly the first thing you have to do is uh, congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back and reward yourself. And you know, all joking aside, actually if you do give yourself a positive reward for doing something, in this case networking, then actually you're training your brain to say it's, it's safe, it's an okay thing to do. And the next time you go you won't feel quite so nervous about it. So from a business perspective, there's two really important things that you have to do after you've been to a networking event. The first one is to capture um, the details of people that you've, that you've made contact with. 80% um, of people don't follow up. What's the point of going to a networking event if you don't follow up? So don't be one of the 80, be one of the 20% who does. So add contact details to your contact relationship management system or your CRM and my CRM of choice is Capsule CRM. It's a really, really good system. Send an email to the person if you have their email address saying how lovely it was to meet them, just really nice and warm and friendly, um, great to discuss such and such of course if you did say that you were going to uh, get back to them on something in particular then follow up, get back to them um, and if they were going to follow up with something then just say you know really looking forward to hearing back from you on XYZ. Before the next meeting why not send them an email saying it was great to meet you at the last meeting, um, are you going to the next one and um, be great to see you there if you if you are going. Now don't forget they may be incredibly nervous, they may be apprehensive, so actually they may really um, value and appreciate somebody reaching out to them and so that they have somebody um, who they know is going to be at the next networking meeting as well. So you're doing them a favour potentially. If you don't have their contact details, then f find them on Twitter, but most of all, find them on LinkedIn, connect with them on LinkedIn. So uh, capture the information and follow up with a, with a lovely, friendly email. You never know where it, where it could lead. It's the start of um, hopefully what will be a good relationship um, and a relationship that may lead to uh, business in the, um, you know, f further down the line. If you'd like to discuss how to grow your own business then please do contact me you can email me on julia.blake at blakeconsultants.co.uk and please do like my Facebook page there's going to be more tips coming through Facebook live video and I do share hints and tips all the time as well um, and the next video is going to be on CRM and how it can really benefit your business thank you for watching